This recipe is for berry meringue tart and it's a classic summer dessert. Now what I really like about it is that you can prepare it ahead and then dress it up just before you're ready to serve. Now to begin with, I've got some egg whites. Now to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now what that does is really helps you to get lovely volume into your meringue so they're really light and airy. And you need a very clean bowl before you begin and then off we go, get them nice and stiff. that the meringue is holding its shape before you start to add the sugar. Add it a little bit at a time, whisking as we go. Now the meringue is getting really voluminous and glossy and shiny and that's just what we want to see. Last little bit. Now you can see it's really firm and holding its shape really well. So just to finish it off, I'm going to be adding some white wine vinegar and a couple of teaspoons of corn flour. And just with a spatula, just fold that mixture together. Just rippling it through. Now the corn flour and the vinegar give the meringue that lovely mallowy texture. So it's time to bake it. Pop that there. Now, I've got a flat baking sheet here, I've drawn a rectangle on the reverse of the paper and I'm just going to spin it over and I can still see the outline that I'm going to use as a guide. Um, but because I want to keep the paper really still, I'm just going to anchor it by putting a little dollop of meringue in each corner. And just smooth the paper down because what you don't want it to do is start swivelling as you're trying to spread the meringue mixture. There we go. So. Let's just take your time here because we want nice straight sides. I'm just going to spoon about three quarters of it on and then with a pallet knife we're trying to get a really nice straight sided rectangular shape. And you can just see the markings on the paper that I'm going to try and keep to. Now you really need a pallet knife for this job. It's really essential for getting nice straight lines when you're spreading. Um, now let's just get the rest of that meringue on. There we go. And let's just have a final spread and level up of it. Now I'm making this as perfect as I can but of course when it cooks it is going to change shape. It's not going to come out quite as straight as this but we can do our best before we start baking it. There we go. I'm going to cook this in a low oven for about an hour. So my meringue has had its time, I'm going to get it out now. And it's gone a beautiful pale golden, it's nice and crusty on the top. So all I'm going to do is slip it off and then leave it there to cool completely. Then we'll dress it and serve it. So my meringue is cooled now, I'm going to take it off the paper and pop it onto its serving plate before I start to dress it. Now the thing about meringues is they always crack and that's just part of their nature so don't worry about it because the cream and the fruit is going to help us with that. Just carefully pop it onto your plate, there we go. And now we're dressing it really simply. I've got some whipped cream, spread that on and I'm going to finish it off really simply with some summer berries. I'm just going to scatter them over the top, some strawberries that have been quartered and some blueberries. Now I might as well just sprinkle them all over and do this just before you're ready to serve. And that's it, it is my berry meringue tart. <laughs>